Skid Vicious. Number 95, Lightning the Queen. Number 151, Ash Smasham. 172, that's Pikachu. Number 600, Thigh Voltage. Woo! Number 626, Remy Ruckus. Woo! Number 666, Strange. 772, that's Al and I lead you. 1981, Sandra Slay O'Connor. Your co captain for today is number 835, Scarin Yeager. And captaining the Hot Shots today is number 00, Nova Kane. Ready to go here in the second bout of Chingadera 2024. Thank you very much for bringing us the roster, Sheryls. I appreciate it. Uh, sure. We are ready to go once again. I'm trying to see. There we go. First jammer for Arizona is Skid Vicious, number 55. And jamming for San Diego, that's number 314, Kim Kong. Kim Kong is behind a solid three wall of Arizona defenders while Skid's up at the front of the pack trying to push through. He's gonna kinda get bounced down to the rail. You see that's Pikachu at the front of the pack with a pivot strike on pivot stripe on. And there goes Skid. Skid Vicious, your first lead jammer of the bout. Kim still fighting behind a three wall of Arizona blockers. That is Mimi, Jaeger, and Lightning. Skid coming around for the first scoring pass. And that time Skid spun down to the infield. Eight seconds left on the jam clock. Arizona defense at the back of the pack was holding in the jammer the whole time. We'll check on the score there here in the first jam with full 60 seconds off the clock, so. Jamming up next for Arizona, that's number four, Cherry Kiss. Jammer for San Diego appears to be number 43, your co-captain, Jax. We'll verify that once they stand up. <laughs> it, it, like I said, turn, yeah, it is yep. Jax, thank you, good. Tournament announcing, it's learning who everybody is. Cherry Kiss bouncing high and low, wow. Cherry, that was gonna be a vicious block by Slamurai and Cherry just got out of there in time. Cherry's your lead jammer for Arizona. Arizona recycling to the front, trying to keep that San Diego jammer still in. Trying to secure some points there for Cherry. Cherry comes around, picks up some points and is out. Cherry through at the back of the pack. Jax is looking around getting blocked down to the infield, and then Al finishes it, and then Jax takes a tumble to the infield as well. Here comes Cherry Kiss right through the turn, and those blockers are out of play. Cherry finishes off the scoring pass. 13 seconds to go in the jam. Looks like this one's gonna go all 60 as well, more than likely. Cherry got a look at the clock coming through the turn here in the big scoreboard that's somehow larger than my head. Cherry through the end. And trying to get down to the end of the turn. It's going to be close there at the very end. We'll check with the jam ref down there. Going to flash the score up. It looks like a penalty was picked up there by one of the teams. It looks like a failure to reform. So San Diego is going to be down one blocker, if I know how to count correctly. Jammer for San Diego was Lil Pity Bull. And your jammer for Arizona is Skarin Yeager. 
And that's 4-5-1, Tiger Lily for San Diego. Jaeger spun off to the inside, uh, excuse me, spun off to the infield, spun off through the inside boundary. And then Jaeger's going to get up in just a couple running strides and gets clear. That was quite a hit that Tiger Lily took there from Mimi Mahler. Tiger Lily trying to get out there, sent to the infield again by Mimi Mahler. As Jaeger's coming around for their first scoring pass. Tiger Lily at the back of the pack, once again getting knocked around. Lightning the Queen has decided to turn this into a personal vendetta. Here comes Scary Jaeger with 12 seconds left on the jam clock. Tiger Lily up and tries to get a block onto Jaeger. Oh, goodness, Jaeger. Jaeger, my goodness. Just bulldozing their way through. I can't. <laughs> I'd like to point out that that was Scary Jaeger's first jam as an Arizona hotshot, and Jaeger just trucked somebody with a forearm at the end of it as an exclamation point. So I would expect nothing love, less. This is why I love Jaeger. I, love <laughs> I would expect nothing less from Jaeger. <laughs> I know Sookie talking smack house is watching from home at this point, so you can tell Jaeger I said that. That was, a, that was a stupid forearm shiver. I'll tell you what. San Diego jammer is out and clear. Your jammer for San Diego is number 9x3. That's 3x3, 3x3. Three three. Get tiki sauce. <laughs> Get tiki sauce. And that's Skeletori jamming for the first time that here is. for the Arizona Derby Dames. It is. Tori's sporting number 11 oh. instead of number 011. And then right there, look out. Yeah. Sliding down. Get tiki sauce calling it there from the ground yeah. as they were sliding say, down the track. Calling it while contacting the kick plate with their right shoulder. Yes. So, yeah. S smart call, move there on right. Yatsiki's uh, Yeah, I was going to say, call, call it off and then do the egg shape and slide down the track, right? <laughs> that's going to be Kim Kong for San Diego. And I three, believe 14. that's Sandy there. That is Sandra yeah. Slay O'Connor. That is Sandy's first jam as an Arizona hotshot. I believe so. Yeah. Sandy there struggling against uh, a San Diego wall, and that's Peak trying to provide some offense for Sandy. Yeah, Arizona's got uh, Kim Kong pinned in at the back, so they're trying to get a goad situation going in. Yeah. It's just that four wall of San Diego's is holding steady. Now you got your pivot getting up in there. That's Pikachu once again with the pivot stripe, and then there we go. We've got our first star, no, star stash. Star stash, not star pass. I mean, it was the first star stash though. Kim Kong gets out, my goodness, everybody look out. Big tumble there Everybody on the turn. Everybody covering their faces. Here comes Kim Kong, your lead jammer for San Diego. Sandy at the back of the pack, still fighting against that defense. That pivot for San Diego is doing work in there. That's 10-11. Yeah. Who's that? I'm trying to look over at the roster. Rogue which is, Grammar, that's the captain. That's right. Oh, well, yeah, well there Just, you go. Yeah, giving Sandy there a that's hard right. time. I really, I, lo I love when your team captain is a, a, a trenches grinder. It's, <laughs> it's just, yeah. And so. it looks like a couple of penalties were picked up there by both sides. They it looks were. like San Diego is going to be down two blockers. And Arizona is going to be down a jammer. We have our first power jam yeah. of the bout. San Diego puts five points on the board there. Your score right now, 27 to 8. And what a timely time for San Diego to have a power jam. Really, obviously, a great chance for them to put some points on the board here. That's number 43, your co-captain, Jax. Jax, doing the honors for San Diego. Arizona, Ari I was, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say Arizona trying to recycle there in front, trying to control the uh, pace of the pack there and keeping Jax in. San Diego's coming around. I believe that's Slamurai who's trying to provide a little bit of O. Slamurai is trying to clear some space. Here comes Jax now. Jax is at the front of the pack, has the star stashed, I think it's, and then Jax ducks to the inside, able to kind of beat them to the corner. So, cheer from the San Diego contingent in the crowd. I think, well, I think the crowd is mostly the San Diego contingent right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think it's the uh, the California crew. This I, is I true, it's yes, LA. the Cali crew, exactly. San Diego there opting to hold a goad with their two blockers, trying to keep that pace of the pack slow, deciding Jackson. to abandon as the pack is coming close together and tries to switch to play O. Jax is trying to fight through, and there's Al and uh, Al Annihilate and Skeletori yeah. at the front of the pack holding strong. We'll check on... How many? We got a four point power jam there for San Diego. No penalties picked up on that power jam, so both teams will be skating yeah. full. Skating. That's, I feel like that's rare. Usually there's so much like bumping and like oh, yeah. shoving in the pack, you always end up with like at least one arms penalty. A failure to reform. Yeah, right, arms. right. Exactly, exactly. So that's <laughs> honestly, I think that's oh. crazy. Yeah, we're going to have a stoppage in play there. We're going to jam reset. Nope. 
off the track. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a reset there. Yeah. Well, while they're lining up again, we'll go ahead and call out the jammers. Jamming for the first time today for Arizona is number 95. That's Lightning the Queen. Your jammer for San Diego, 451 Tiger Lily. I recognize like five of the speakers. Like I said earlier, I saw stiletto sprays and I was like, good, That's I good. still know stiletto <laughs> sprays. But yeah, you can see like I just, I got to start memory. Lightning jumping on the low there, taking lead jammer. Lightning sneaking right through. Looking down along the infield. Whoa, I just saw I just saw Mimi dispense with somebody with an elbow. I didn't even catch who it was. That's how fast they went down. Um, Ty such a god. I love all-star tournaments. The freaking action is amazing. Oh, it's so much fun. Lightning able to get back up and get the wave around as her blocker came off the track. So Lightning finishing off, excuse me, Lightning's out and clear, excuse me. Tiger Lily struggling against a strong wall of blockers. That is Jaeger, Peak, and Skid. That is a tough wall. Lightning doing a little bit of a spin there, manages to pick up that last we point, did. I believe, and decides to call it off as the San Diego say, Jammer yeah. was out. And uh, for clerical purposes, that's our first star pass. Yeah. So taking over as Jammer, just to make it official, was number 1011. That is your uh, captain. I can't read it from here. <laughs> Rogue grammar. Rogue grammar, thank you. Two I penalties I memorize up. everybody as quick as I can, and as evidence in the first bout, sometimes I memorize it wrong. Sorry, Jane Woe. <laughs> I called Jane Woe the wrong name for like six straight jams, and finally the stat taker comes over and is like, please stop that. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> lead jam, your lead jammer. That's Cherry Kiss. It is Cherry Kiss for Arizona. They didn't get to catch the number there in San Diego. There we go. With so. the, whoa, long running. Just woo, quick, got out fast. It's your oh, jammer for San Diego, feet. yeah. That's three by three, Yatsiki Sauce. Yeah. Yatsiki Sauce is out. Now Yatsiki's trying to get back. Cherry is really getting yeah. after it. Yatsiki's going to force the call off. Yeah, wow. Cherry wanted that point. Cherry wanted that point, and Yatsiki was staying away. Yeah. That's fast skating because Cherry's quick, and yes. Yatsiki was not giving up any ground. So that's that's kind of a, it's a jammer race in reverse kind of, but yeah. still a jammer race. It was <laughs> No, that was very good, very uh, good perception by Yatsiki Sauce knowing yeah. how far back Cherry was. Jammers this time, uh, it's Jax for San Diego. And that's 451 Ash Smasham, and I believe this is her first jam as a hot shot. It is her first jam. It's just fun when people, you know, the first time on their all-star yep. team. So Ash now is going to get back up and reestablish behind those two blockers for San Diego. Mimi, Jaeger, and Skid doing some work there, trying to hold back that San Diego ja jammer. Skid deciding to provide a little bit of O there, trying to help Ash get out. Ash facing a San Diego blocker. That's 14-20. La La Tiburona, they are giving Ash a hard time. Both jammers still in. Oh, wow. Big block there by San Diego. Ash yeah. had a head of steam right in front of me, and Ash just got dumped backwards. That was 10-11 again. That's No, excuse me, that's 11-11 is who that was. Excellent block there. I can read that name from here, can't I? Aces. Well, that makes sense. San Diego managed to get out there, but unfortunately the clock expired. Both teams just playing some very yeah, strong really, defense. Yeah, really, yeah. And yeah, like I said, jam. I mean, Ash Ash was Ash had a little momentum and then like yeah. I said, uh excuse me. I just looked at the name Aces. <laughs> Aces really just was a good directional slam. We got another power jam now for San Diego, so Second jammer penalty now for Arizona. Yeah, it uh, looks like Ash there picking up a cut and uh, Mimi picking up an above shoulders. Yeah, so uh, San Diego now another power jam. That's Tiger Lily, number 451. San Diego also down one blocker. One of their skaters picked up an arms on the last penalty. All right, they're going to accordion it. Yep, Arizona trying to stay in That's front right. there. But and one of the uh, Arizona blockers, oh, almost held back as a goad, manages to reform there in the front. San Cher Diego blocker still in. Cherry Kiss was able to sweep back around and avoid being an accidental goad. So yeah. now those three Arizona skaters are going to take off. San Diego's going to start the polka. Here they come up the back straight away. Arizona doing a uh, great job staying in front, but together as well. Controlling yeah, the speed of right. the pack there, not letting that jammer out. 
Now the pack gets a little staggered. They did get the wall separated, but Cherry's right there as, a, as playing free safety, basically. Yep. San Diego trying to separate those Arizona blockers, trying to let their jammer out. But That's gonna the do block it. is going to block expire. Expires. Big defense by Arizona on the power jam. Yeah, Excellent solid defense. penalty kill Absolutely. there. It looks like uh, Arizona 0-0 picking up a, a failure to reform penalty there. So Novocaine will sit in the box. Arizona will be down one blocker. You got Yatsiki Sauce for San Diego. Scary Yeager for Arizona. There's 2.45 to go until the end of this first quarter. Checking in on the score as well. It is 40-12 to 12 Arizona leads as we go into Jam 11. Scaring Jaeger, fighting those San Diego blockers. Jaeger now is going to just try to go right up Main Street. Jaeger, wow. Jaeger fights through the three blockers uh, and is your lead jammer for Arizona. Yeah. Wow. Jaeger coming around <laughs> for their first scoring pass as the San Diego blocker is still in. Swooping high and then taking the low. Jaeger is out with 30 seconds left on oh. the clock. Now at the front of the pack, I saw lightning spinning around and getting ready to pivot. Well, pivoting as the pivot. Yuck, yuck. <laughs> Yatsiki Sauce now is at the back of the pack and trying to find a way through. Sandy now tries to open a lane for Jaeger, who goes down to the inside. Tiptoeing a lot. Nice. Wow, Jaeger able to able to stay upright. Tap dancing on those toe stops. Yeah. Jaeger through the corner. Jamming for the first time today for Arizona. That's 666. Strange. And for the uh, Derby United, I believe that's 314. I believe that's Kim Kong. It is, it I'm confidently saying. See, again, like I said, I'm trying to get better about it. I was, I was pretty awful during the LA about it, getting the skaters right. So I am honestly like, trying to get everybody memorized as fast as possible because I can't see anything. It was a warm-up, Clifton. It was the first game of the day. Damn, but that's <laughs> not a warm-up. <laughs> ah. That's what the thing is. No, I'm on the show, man. <laughs> They're taking off along the inside. There goes Strange. Strange is that big. Strange's stride is, I don't mean to say strange, but it, it, you can tell Strange it's at powerful. a distance. It is powerful and it's unique. Pure muscle. Pure yeah, muscle. yeah. And there goes Strange around the outside just using that rail as leverage. You didn't really have to touch it, but just kind of used it to use as a boundary. Yeah, Kim Kong there putting in some work against that three wall of Arizona blockers. Yeah, absolutely strange. Now up to the pack, just kind of weaves through. Skeletori just kind of shoves Strange back to the inside, and the scoring pass is complete. San Diego Jammer still at the back of the pack and trying to find their way out. I believe we've had a star pass, and I believe everybody knows. Meanwhile, Strange at the front of the pack. Goes ahead and calls it off. Looks like Strange was able to pick up uh, 14 points on that last jam. I go. believe that's what I overheard. You did overhear it correctly. So, and once you overhear it from the eye in the sky, you're allowed to say it on the microphone. <laughs> Sometimes my hearing doesn't work that way. Oh, yeah. Jamming, it is this a power jam? It looks it like. It is a power jam for Arizona. That's Skid. Skid vicious. Skid is now ducking inside back to the outside. Is going to outrun that last blocker for San Diego to the point. Skid's out and clear. Quarter clock has expired, so this will be the last jam of the quarter. That's peak Sandy and uh, Lightning holding back a San Diego blocker. Trying to hold uh, a goad there. As Skid is coming around for their first scoring pass, Lightning playing some excellent, oh, sweeping low, trying to clear that path for Skid. There we see Lightning and Thunder holding a strong wall in the back. As Skid is coming back around for another scoring pass. Arizona choosing to hold two goats now in the back. And knocked around, everybody's trying to get clear. Skid gets knocked to the infield, unsurprisingly, by Rogue Rammer. And then Rogue Rammer turns around and just gives Skid the stink eye at the back of the pack and says, try it. <laughs> Quarter break is over. I got to tell you, San Diego fans, Rogue Rammer is doing work, oh, son. Yeah. It is. I, Rogue, I look, every time I look down, I see 10-11 knocking somebody's <laughs> snot out. I, er, early, I was nominating MVBs because, like, I just sit up here and watch people do do defense. And so, yeah, I was gonna say, it's the hat, tip tip of an offensive lineman's son's hat <laughs> to Rogue Grammar over there because I, there was like four good blocks I called out, and I love that. We're into the quarter break. 
Oh, I was just gonna say yeah. it. I mean, they were, you know, doing work yeah. there on skid, which is not something that. Oh, I know. Do. Like skid I said, and then to just, and then just to turn around with two seconds on the clock and to just glare at <laughs> Skid Vicious and go, "You don't want this." You know what I mean? It's like you, the confidence. I love it. I love the confidence, and then when somebody backs it up too, it's fantastic. It's like I love watching people I don't know skate for the first time and just like, "Oh wow, look at that!" It's fun. It's fun, like getting new skaters that I look forward to seeing again. Yep. Because I will I'll sit up here and tell the announcers, like, oh, wait till you see 10-11 for San Diego. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like a guided missile. You're building a highlight reel. I do. Yeah, I, that's I, awesome. I, I tell people, like, people, it's not an act. I really do tell people. I'm like, I yeah. am flabbergasted that the fact that I never stop talking is valued here to the point that they'll let me in for free. Because I'd be buying tickets anyway. I was. <laughs> And then they were like, you've done radio. I'm like, Sun Sounds of Arizona's glorified podcasting, if anything, and that's not radio. And they're like, yeah, but you know which end of the microphone to talk in, too. I was like, this is true. We appreciate your enthusiasm and your I knowledge. I loved it. It's great. Like, honestly. Like I said, improvisers are bad. I'm one, so I can say this. We're, we're, we're bad enough as it is. Don't get us excited and put us in a room with more of us. You know the how, energy you know, levels yeah. are just through the you, roof. You know thermal runaway when a battery catches fire and like yeah. when batteries are near it, it gets hot enough to set them all off. So basically it'll set off all the batteries near it and they all burn forever. Yeah. That's what improvisers are like. The more of us that are closer together, like it just, we'll catch everything on fire around us. We'll burn it down with our perceived wit. Maybe that's the future of sustainable energy. Exactly. See, exactly. <laughs> the future of sustainable. It's not It's not people in goo pods. 
It's just a bunch of improviser on stage going, funny, bunny. <laughs> and we're back we to the We are back to the, here. we're back to the derby action. Instead of me telling you how cool improvised theater is, we had, <laughs> we're back to it. It's 74 to 12, the hot shots are in front. That's Jax for San Diego. And that's Skeletori for the uh, hot shots. That's right. Scare, uh, Skeletori taking the high there. Takes a block from one of the San Diego blockers. Tori was, that blocker was just in play, but no, was not in play. All right, that's what we got there. I was gonna say Slammerai knocked Tori off, but the, reg, the referee said, go on ahead. Star Stash for the San Diego Jammer Jacks. Coming up to the pack now, your San Diego pivot is trying to get around. Arizona just kinda, Arizona just kinda absorbed that pivot like a grain of dirt on the face of somebody using my cellar water, just sucked her up and took her off the track. Yeah, without Tori. leaving any oily residue. Tori trying to pick up those last couple of points there and then decides to call it off as the San Diego Jammer was uh, hot on her heels. Absolutely. Three points for Arizona. So the San Diego San Diego pursuit knocked a point off the score, and that's why kids skate through the whistle. Pikachu is on the Jammer line for Arizona. And that's... Uh, Yatsiki Sauce. Yatsiki Sauce, yes, for San Diego. Yep. Peak fighting their way through there against those three San Diego blockers. Still struggling going into the turn. I believe that's Lightning who decides to come up, tries to play a little bit of offense. As Skid and Mimi are holding back Yatsiki Sauce. Both jammers still in, almost halfway done with this jam. Peak's gonna get up and reestablish and try to get some momentum and ah. is finally able to duck along the inside. Just Working along and able to get by the San Diego blocker, but an excellent individual effort at the front of the pack by Snips, number 1256. We got a star pass. Taking over his jammer is Rogue Rammer, so just going to try to win all the awards, I guess. Out to the outside is Peak. Rogue Rammer coming in with the full head of steam, and Peak calls it off, and the blockers at the back of the pack said, thank you. <laughs> Check the score. Another three. Again, skate through the whistle. Yeah. Forced an early call off. Saved a point. That's what you do. Always finish your blocks, always play through the whistle, and always check your fly before you go out the door. Kim Kong is on the jammer line, number 314 for San Diego. And that's number four, Cherry Kiss for the Arizona Derby Dame Hot Shots. Cherry, Cherry quickly, kiss. wow, oh. Cherry just, uh, Derek does get out. I was gonna say Cherry got by 805 for San Diego. Yeah. And then Cherry took off. We got another star stash, so Cherry's gonna put the, put the yeah, Cherry put the hammer down there, kind of the corner. Kim Kong is keeping up. Oh, Turning that's fast. on the burgers wow. on that look one, out, Kim Look out, look out, Cherry around the outside is gonna speed. whip to the top side. Get around Slammerai and call it oh. off. Kim Kong on the pursuit. I swear I love this. I love it. Kim Kong just absolutely turning on the burners, and it looks like Kim, Kim Kong was able gets to pick three up on the three pursuit. Points. I love it. That was awesome. That is a coaching clinic. You <laughs> watch that, kids. Skate through the whistle. So both teams picking up three points on that last jam. Score is 83 to 15. Hot That's shots right. lead. We've got Sandra Slay O'Connor for Arizona. Your San Diego jammer is number 1420. That's Lala Tiburona out of the pack. Lala and Tiburona clear. is lead. First, first time Lala is jammed for San Diego. Sandy's out as well for Arizona. Lala's got a half track advantage. He's gonna slay it along the inside and run squarely into Skid Vicious. Gets back up and calls it off. Yeah, it wasn't much she could do there. It was in that point where the track narrows and they basically had it clogged up. So yeah. tried to get around Skid and they just had a better, you know, squarely in the way. Hot shots picking up a penalty on that last jam there. That's Looks right. like they picked up an arm, so they'll be skating down one blocker. I do love that she got her hip in front of one person. One point for San Diego. It's still, again, it count, hey, grind for it those counts. points. That's yep. a four straight jam when I've complimented them for good derby fundamentals, and I'm not even a skater or a coach. It's that <laughs> obvious. We got Jax at the back of the pack for San Diego. And I believe that's Skeletori for the hot shots. Skeletori struggling there against one of the San Diego blockers, doing a great job of staying in front. San Diego recycling in front, forming a wall, trying to keep Tori in. Sending Tori to the infield, but oh. they were out of play. It was actually, it was the block by Slammerai, but then the last one to touch her came off the track too. So Slammerai's oh, block got wiped no. off. Yeah, Slammerai actually had a great block, but she bumped into the other San Diego blocker going off. It happens Interesting. Sometimes. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's like you, like they throwing the ball off somebody's leg before they fall out of bounds in basketball. So inter interestingly enough, but now we've got a star stash. Getting out of the pack is Jax for San Diego. Tori trying to pick up those last couple of points there. Jax puts the star back on. Jax is coming up to the backs of the packs and the whistle is gonna blow. Tori picks up the last point, yeah, and decides to call it off. 
Jax was coming around the tracks really fast. Tori picking up five points on that last jam. Score is 88 to 16, hot shots lead. That's 95, Lightning doing the honors for the hot shots. We've got... That's no. Little Pity Bowl. Thank you, I was gonna say, Little Pity Bowl. Jamming you got a better angle San than I do. Diego, and I believe this is Little Pity Bowl's first time jamming. I was hanging onto the right side of my chair and I almost hit Cheryl's with my head trying to see it. It's little Pit Bowl, and I sat back upright. Thank you. <laughs> it is Lightning's first time jamming. Little Pity Bowl jammed the first jam of the game and is back up ah. there. Yeah, Lightning along the inside. That's why I didn't recognize the number. Lightning is out and clear for Arizona. Mimi uh, sending Little Pity Bowl there to the infield on the turn as Lightning is coming around for their first scoring pass. Jumps to low and is out. Couple of running strides and Lightning right through the pack. Little Pity Bowl is at the back of the pack. Mimi Mahler is wearing the pivot stripe and that also, it lets, well, wow, look out, block there to the inside. Pity Bowl's got the star off. Lightning jumping on the low, getting past blockers from both teams. Is gonna try to come around for more points here. Knocked down to the inside. Mimi just staying on Little Pity Bowl. A little bit of a tumble there as they go into the turn. I'll we'll check on that score from the infield. All right, it's a full 15 for Arizona on that jam. So Arizona's gonna break over 100, 103 to 16. Cherry Kiss once again for Arizona. And that's Kim Kong for San Diego. Skid sending Kim Kong to the infield there, forcing them to reset. As Cherry is out as the lead jammer there. That's a strong wall. It looks like it's Strange, Volte, and Skid holding in Kim Kong. Cherry coming around for their first scoring pass. That's Remy Ruckus playing a little bit of O in the front for Cherry. So now it's gonna be Slammerai versus Cherry Kiss at the front of the pack. Slammerai's gonna go up low, Cherry down to the low, and then Slammerai's out of play. Solid Holy Cherry, work I was gonna there. say solid work by Slammerai at the yeah. front of the pack, but then Cherry just kept hitting. Every Drive, second counts. Yeah, driving, her, driving her back about a foot each time until she was 20 feet on. Yeah, that was some solid yeah. D there by Slammerai. And great persistence by Cherry, too, to just keep coming. Yeah. Now down to the inside, Cherry gets back up, reestablishes, and calls it off. And Cherry will check to see if, I'm pretty sure Cherry believes she had all 10. She does. We've got another power jam for San Diego. Look it at that. It looks like Cherry picked up a stopping at an arms. I believe that was two penalties. Well, I hope all I'm right not then. You know what, if things. you gotta sit, you might as well make it worth your while. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be number 1420, La La Tiburona. Down to the inside, gets blocked off by Pikachu and Mimi Mahler. Peaky and uh, Peaky. Pikachu and, and uh, Mimi there delivering a one-two hit to La La Tiburona. Lala now is trying to find an opening, is gonna go right up on at the middle and then gets around Mimi, which is no small feat. Excellent way, way to get yeah. around Mimi. Took a hip check too and got on through, so Lala Tiburona Managing is- Managing to stay stable yeah, against right. a, a Mimi hit, that's, that's solid. Yes. <laughs> you're just glad that you're on the same team as her. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Practices are exhausting when I have to skate against Mimi, which is all the time. That's right. Mimi is Cheryl's team captain for clarification. Uh, down to the inside, Lala. Mimi runs. Ma uh, Mimi runs. Lala down to the inside. San Diego doing a great job holding a goad there in the back, trying to allow the room for Lala Tiburona to push those other hot shot blockers out of play. Yep. And, and the clock expires with she not did. quite enough time for Lala to come back around. And we are going to have. We're gonna have an Arizona team timeout. Hot Shots are gonna call timeout. Team coach Troy McClure. So, brief stoppage in play. We have 6.02 to go until halftime. It's 113.21 right now.
All right, team timeout over. Once again, 6.02 to halftime. That's going to be Skeletori for Arizona. And I believe that's number 43, it is. Jax. It is, Jax. Jax up to the pack. Another star stash. Tori taking the low there, but is faced with some San Diego blockers, trying to fight their way through those last few blockers. Does manage to get out and is your lead jammer. Jack still stuck behind a very strong uh, three wall there. It looks like that's Al, Nova, and Remy holding back Jax as Tori's coming around for their first scoring pass. That's Thy Voltage playing O in the front for Tori, trying to help their jammer out. Twenty seconds. Sorry, we got problems. Oh, that I was going to say San look. Diego there reforming, still keeping Tori in there with 15 seconds left on the clock. Yep. And there was Tori trying to get by. Tori does end up coming off the track, but the blocker did too, so Tori gets to go on by. There's only five seconds left, so Tori gets out, and as soon as we have a lead jammer, Tori calls it off. Defensive fight that jam was. Five points for Arizona. Jamming for Arizona up next is Skid Vicious. And I believe that's Little Pity Bull jamming for San Diego. I would agree with that. Luckily for you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a full pack this jam. Skid just choo-chooing her way there on the high. Is out as lead jammer. This is a very slow moving pack still. Barely, barely entering the turn as Skid is coming around for their first scoring pass. Little Pity Bull struggling, struggling against Mimi. I believe that's Jaeger and Sandy there in the back. San Diego doing an excellent job of uh, holding Skid as well. Yeah. I was going to say, unsurprisingly, that would be Rogue Grammar up there. Yeah. <laughs> hitting, hit, uh, and then Rogue Grammar turned and appealed directly to Infidel Castro about something. I couldn't hear because it was being <laughs> shouted through a mouth guard. But uh, so uh, yeah, Rogue Rammer not happy about something there. There goes Skid dashing through the pack. And oh, look out. Everybody runs over number 1256 for San Diego. And like I said, you go into the protective egg mode. Jam clock expires with Skid coming down the back straight away. It looks like both teams picked up penalties on that last jam there. Seeing a forget what a BP is. <laughs> a BP? Yeah. Oh, blocking out of play. There you go. I was going to say, I honestly, I was looking because there used to be a penalty list. It I never learned like the penalty codes because I can't see the whiteboard. Makes sense if you, you know. And it does look like this is a power jam it is. for San Diego. It is. And it's La La Tiburona again out there to do the power jam. Sort of the designated power jammer for San Diego is going to fight to the front of the pack and then just get ground down to the inside. That was Cherry and uh, Volti there sending La La Tiburona to the infield, but La, Tibur La, La Tiburona quickly resets and is trying to get out. Gonna see a little bit of accordion here. San Diego taking advantage as this, the pack speeds up and La La Tiburona is out with 20 seconds left on the clock. They do, La La gets around. If this can be a fast scoring pass, La La is quick and could get around if she San Diego right holding through. a blocker there in the back, allowing and look at that. Wow. to just wow. get out look on the high. Race through there. They knew she was coming, and she still got through. Yeah. Two seconds left. Here comes Alala. Is going to blast through, trying to catch up. And I she got oh. by. Oh, there was Remy on the inside. So Clock expires. We'll have to wait to hear from the refs to see how many points Lala was able I to was pick gonna up. I was going to say once again with the pursuit and getting back to the pack, Got back and got two more points at the end. It really, it's just like I said. I mean, I mean, obviously Arizona is out there. The score is what it is. So I'm not, Arizona's doing wonderful. But I just want to like, that was really, just really great. And this what, you know, it's great to see that like maybe a team's down, but everybody's still out there and they're really going for it. It's just I such it. high yeah. level roller derby. Yeah. A lot of these skaters, this is probably the first time they've gone, you know, out of state maybe. Like I was thinking, for a lot of skaters on Tilted Thunder, a lot of them really probably haven't left Washington for roller derby before. Anyhow, we've got Lightning the Queen for Arizona. And Lightning is out. Big tumble back there. 
And Lightning tried to go to the goes to the high side, in fact. Now weaves through the pack and is able to get clear. I believe we had a little bit of a star, yeah, star pass, pass there. Yeah, I think yeah, it's, I think it's uh, yeah. Four, Ty 451 Tire Lily Tyre taking Lily, over yeah. as Jammer for San Diego. Yeah, I was Struggling say, against Peek and Jaeger, though. Arizona was fully aware of it. Now, Tiger Lily is going to get bumped down to the inside once again by Mimi Mulder. We've got 17 seconds left in the jam. Here comes Lightning once again, second scoring pass right on through. Mimi doing an excellent sweep to the high there, clearing that path for uh, Lightning to take the low on the turn. There's four seconds left. Lightning's got the head down, catching up again, and a pursuit through, oh. and look out. Lightning trying to get by along the inside and tried to hop over. We're going to find out. I believe that you, you can't score the point if you're sliding by on the infield. If I believe if you've touched the infield, it doesn't count. You have to be like in the air in order to be I able get to get it. the okay. point. I get it. Okay. Well, you can see they were, it took them a second to sort it, but. Yeah. Well, it we'll looks like both teams still. picked up a penalty on that last jam, so both teams will be skating down one blocker. Checking in. It was an 18 point jam for Arizona, so indeed, uh, I do not believe Lightning got the points for the. Oh, oh go and check in there. All right, late penalty coming in, and there goes a challenge flag. Immediate so challenge by San Diego. Immediate challenge there. flag. So I, they apparently were prepared to not agree with whatever was just announced. It looks like uh, their jammer picked up a stopping penalty there on that last one. And I was going to say, Bender B. Rodriguez's finger was barely down from pointing the finger of shame <laughs> at the jammer, and they, the challenge flag was already fluttering up in the air. It so was like, in yeah. The, yeah, it was in Apparently the air. Apparently, they didn't need to wait for the they didn't need to wait for the assistant coach in the booth to watch that one a couple times. <laughs> They apparently think they're going to be successful in this challenge. We'll find out what it is. I mean, everybody does, or yeah. you wouldn't challenge. Well, unless you're Castro. Castro just challenges for an extra timeout. So <laughs> that's my favorite when we find it out they're like, the uh, arms penalty on one of the blockers stands. I'm like, yeah. We just needed a moment to breathe. I know, exactly. <laughs> we just no, needed I that love, minute and a half. I love sitting up here when Castro's <laughs> doing scoreboard, and I'll sit up here during about, and I'll lean over, and I'll, that, I've learned a lot about announcing from sitting next to Castro. When Cal he's on scoreboard, and just because I know, obviously, he's the coach of the Doomsday Valkyries, the yes. team that Sherls is on for Twitch streamers who don't necessarily know. And the challenge continues, Hi, so we're just we're filling air. But uh, the uh, um, Infidel Castro, like I said, will sit up here and do scoreboard sometimes. He's not technically on the, the uh, regulators, but he does fill in at tournaments and such. And just a lot from leaning over and asking him questions. Yeah. And so a lot of the things I know about derby strategy come from the sitting next to coaches and things. Because I honestly, I've never played the sport. I just I showed up as a fan, and they gave me a microphone, and I've been learning it ever since. And Castro, a uh, rough, a regulator for many, many, yeah, years. many years. So absolute wealth of knowledge. Yeah. Also, don't forget, uh, yeah, yeah and our and coach. coach. Yeah, and his daughter's on the team. Yes, NC Jammer. That is correct. NC That's my Jammer. teammate. Yep. <laughs> Looking down at the challenge continuing. If the music died, I was going to say. The refs deep in discussion. Oh, look, I actually see Castro in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he's down there right now. The challenge is continuing. And we once again want to welcome everybody watching us all around the country on Twitch. Let's make this a thing during the tournament. Every, ch every well, I don't know about every. But hey, everybody, we got a second here. Why don't you dare? The challenge is breaking up. But check in in the Twitch chat. Tell us where you're watching from. Let us know what league you're representing. Post in the Twitch chat when your league's next home game is and where the live stream link is. Things like that. Post the link to your team's Twitch page so that we can all follow you. A rising tide lifts all boats. Hearing here the uh, inside scoop from the regulators, it looks like the challenge was lost. Yeah, well, the chal challenge was unsuccessful, unsuccessful is the terminology. I'm still learning, y'all. Still yeah. learning. Here's Don't mind me. You want to know something that's really, really funny? What's and up? I say this in all love, but Lollicop, Lollicop knows I love her. Lollicop, one of our usual head referees. Uh, it, in our league, uh, but Lollicop comes up and Lolly can never. Lolly will skate up and go, the challenge was up, penalty was, 
and I go, it, it, did they lose? Yes. I get on mic and I say, well, the challenge was unsuccessful. And Lolly points at me and nods. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> I don't know. It's the funniest thing. Lolly can flawlessly run a game, you know, with one hand tied behind her back, but it always forgets what is challenge unsuccessful, penalty is upheld. I, maybe it's because they both start with you. I have it's that problem. It's a brain scramble. It really is. We are back to it. It's 146 to 28, so it is going to be a power jam for Arizona, and that's strange down to the inside, and he gets back up. Got to go on away. The blocker came off, too. So San Diego's got three blockers out there. Two of them are Rogue Rammer and Slammerai, and they've now linked hands. So that's probably problematic for everybody else. Strange down to the inside. Oh. Strange big block down to the inside. The San Diego blocker stayed on the track. That was a uh, hit from number 1011. Rogue Rammer just absolutely. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't need to tell you that. Not surprised. Yeah, right. Not surprised. Stranger on the outside. Early, I was going to say, early case for MVB this bout. Yeah, Rogue Rammer is just giving My all gosh. of the Arizona all Jammers over the a place. run for their money. Meanwhile, it's 20 seconds left in the power jam. There's Strange. Wow, look at that move. Strange just kind of ducked the head and just. Yeah. You saw Slammerai coming high, and Strange literally ducked under that block. Just quite the shoulder Crazy. drop there. Eight seconds left. Strange this time to the inside, and that time Slammerai is ready for it. And Slammerai brought the hurt that time. I yeah. saw Strange wince rolling over on the infield because that hit went all the. That, Concrete doesn't absorb any energy. It reflects it back into your spine. So I know that hurts. <laughs> I, again, I did an improv show one time. It is halftime. I did an improv show one time at a place that had a concrete floor, and I'd never always done it like on a wooden stage, and I hit the ground, and I was like, I'm just going to lay here for a minute and think about things. <laughs> I need to rethink my life yeah. choices. For Meanwhile, a a, we are down to halftime. It'll be 15 minutes. It's 161.28. The Hot Shots are currently in front.
Yeah. It'd be really exciting to see that. I'm going to stick around probably and catch at least the first half before I go. And closing in on being ready to go. See Mama Seidel walking around, checking in with people. And the clock continues to, what should I do, just count it down from 20 at this point? Is Yatsiki Sauce's number 3x3, or is it a math problem? <laughs> yeah, oh, I was going to say, is, is, is Yatsiki's number 9? See, is it is it 3x3, or is it a math problem? I can't tell. A philosophical question of the day. Exactly. Hit <laughs> us in the Twitch <laughs> chat, let us know your opinion. Yeah. Is Yatsiki's number actually 9? I'm going to pull up the Twitch chat right now. Thank you. we got to check in on the homies. I'm so square. I'm not just two square. I'm three squared. I'm nine. That's number 1420, <laughs> Lala Tiburona at the Jammer Lion as we get things started in the third quarter. Lala goes right up, tried to go right up between and does so. Wow. Got right up between Ash Smasham and Scary Yeager and blasts through. Much to the delight of the San Diego contingent in the crowd, and it's a San Diego power jam. I can't remember if I said that. My brain's a little scattered. There goes Lala up to the high side, spinning up into the rail, uses the rail to stop herself, and then Skid. It's Skid hanging on to Jaeger for leverage so that she didn't fall off the track. And then Jaeger with another block, too. Lala trying to get clear, and now the Arizona defenders are able to get back together and reform a four wall. There's 22 seconds left in the power jam. And we have fighting through the pack. I thought there was a star pass, but I don't think so. There is. Uh, there was, yeah. Oh. Trying to get by around the outside. Jaeger yeah, that's what it was. I was going to say. Rogue there a hard time not trying to let them out after that star pass. So there we are. We did pick up all five points on that power jam. Finishing off the power jam was Rogue Rammer. Jamming up next, that's going to be number four, Cherry Kiss for the Hot Shots. Jamming for San Diego. Coming up. Two, one, three. I was going to say, I knew there had to be. A, I didn't recognize the shorts, so I knew that was a new jammer. That Sugar is Rage. Sugar Rage. I think that might be their first yeah, time jamming Yeah, Sugar tonight. Rage gets out. Sugar Rage just wants to fly. Here comes Cherry <laughs> Kiss burning down the front straightaway. Look out. Cherry Kiss up to the pack, ducks to the high side. Is going to get through and has to call it out. That's San Diego Pursuit. I'll tell you what, they never quit yeah, coming. Yeah, Sugar Rage was coming they in with are, speed they there. They never quit coming. They are forcing, they are forcing a lot of call-offs. Quick jam, no penalties yeah. on either team there. Two so we'll be again. skating with uh, full jammers, full pack. Sandra Slay O'Connor for Arizona, and that I believe is going to be Jax for San Diego. But we'll see if I'm right. Yeah. Like I said, I'm getting pretty good at spotting them. I'll be really good at this by Monday morning. <laughs> oh, Jaeger delivering a hit there, sending Jax to the rail lane and just. Staying on them, not making it easy as Sandra Slayos Connor is fighting in the front there against a three wall of San Diego blockers. Mimi decides to move up, tries to provide some offense, allowing Sandy to get out as a lead jammer. But we have a. We do have a jammer race. Sandy is aware of it. Sandy's keeping an eye, and Sandy's going to call it off. Woo. Up to the pursuit was Kim Kong taking over. San Diego crowd cheering again. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to that San Diego pursuit. It's. It's terrifying. It, 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 it was it's just, terrifying. you know, honestly, it was a lot like, did you happen to see much of the first bout or were you not here? I was watching some of some it, of yeah. It, yeah. I was, was going to say it really was interesting as the bout went on. You saw Tilted Thunder getting really getting out a lot. Yeah, yeah, especially they Especially the were. second half. So, like I said, but that's the sign of a good coach is when your team is able to ad adapt and, yes. and, and uh, you know, improve and change strategy as the, as the game goes on. Yeah. So that's going to be 707 Little Pity Bowl. And Little Pity Bowl just kind of, Dropping right along the inside. That's number 11, Tori, for the Arizona Derby Dams. You know how quickly Little Pity Bull got out of the pack? Like a fireball. <laughs> Here we go, catching up to the pack. Arizona. Big block. Oh, goodness. Little Pity Bull just got eliminated back there. Yeah. Everybody upright. I d you, whenever you see wheels up in the air, oh, Little Pity Bull just got smacked into the rail, too. Yeah. That was a hard hit. Tori's out for Arizona, by the way. 
Yes, hot Long shots uh, down two blockers on that last yeah. jam, but getting their money's Al, worth down there. You know, Alan Strange as blockers, they almost count for like two people. <laughs> yeah. San Diego puts two points on the board, but they do also pick up a jammer penalty. So at the jammer line for Arizona, number 151, Ash. Smash him. It looks like Arizona picked up a penalty as well there. They're going to be down one blocker. I believe that's strange in the penalty box. So we're off on to the 31st jam here. Jaeger delivering some offense, trying to clear a path for Ash, but those San Diego blockers doing a good job of trying to stay together there. Wow, Ash and is Ash, out. wow, that was a pretty slick move getting down to the inside. Honestly, I think Ash waited until Kim Kong's head was turned and then just took off from the rail. Yeah. Slick move. I've noticed that Ash does a really great job of just taking yeah. off. Yeah, like and then, oh my goodness, oh no. Oh no, Ash just dump truck two defenders in a row. <laughs> that did not just happen. No. I believe it. Wow. Ash is strong. I'm just going to sit here and, and drool on myself. You have to finish this jam for me. <laughs> Holy cow. I was just about to say what a hit, and then she did it again before I could open my mouth. Get real. Stupid. Dumb. I love this sport. Yikes. One second left. Other exclamations, shouts of joy, words with exclamation points at the end. Holy hell. Am I allowed to say that without getting a TOS strike? I think you're good. Yeah, as long as I don't drop an S-bomb, right? Yes. Jamming up next for San Diego, that's 1420, La La Tiburona. Jamming for the first time is an Arizona hot shot. Oh, bloop. Just kidding. I'll save that. <laughs> they're going to hate it when I say it, but they're, I'll save that. I was just about to wind up with it. Because they're going to turn and look at me. We have a timeout. <laughs> An OTO, OTO here. to talk about some of the penalty action going on in the previous jam. So we got 9-11 to go in the third quarter. Suki. Points <laughs> up on the board. So 172-35. Suki on the Twitch chat saying, she does. Clifton speechless. No. I couldn't. <laughs> I See, that's how good it was. I couldn't quantify it. And there's no problem I cannot solve with my face words. <laughs> <laughs> and I was struck dumb. That's how I can't. The, the first hit was good enough that I was just about to go, oh, and then uh, ugh. just like with just one and two in a row. Holy cow. It's like the hit that Grimace laid on somebody at uh, at Roller Rage. I just happened to be recording. I was like, oh, I'll get a little clip of some derby action and post it on my Facebook and tell. But, and I get Grimace and he comes up to Alex Storm and Alex Storm hits him and Grimace just like dispenses with him with a with an arm. <laughs> Just swat. Out and of the way. Yeah. And Alex Storm is, you know, oh. brings the pain. Yeah. And yeah. Grimace just like, just brushed him away with his left hand. Unfazed. And I was like, that didn't Grimace even. Grimace was unfazed. Oh, ridiculous. I can't get, I literally would. I, I cannot believe they let me do this for free. So I, pa I would pay to do this if asked. Coming back to the action here, it looks like we're going into a San Diego Power Jam. We That's are. La La Tiburona doing the honors for the San Diego Wildfires. Of course it is. La La Tiburona fighting against that three wall of Arizona blockers. It looks like that's Nova, Remy, and Al doing the honors. Oh, as well as Cherry. La La Tiburona just unfazed yeah, excellent, by Cherry. Yeah, excellent kiss. effort there at the front of the pack. Trying to go in for a block was Pikachu and clear a little. Oh, that's Al, excuse me. That was Al going for the kill shot. 805 for San Diego got out of the way. Here comes Lala. The pack is now going to pick up speed with 27 seconds left in the jam. Arizona's got a four wall at the front of the pack, and Lala's going to test it. Goes up and runs into Cherry Kiss. You got Nova Kane there. Nova Kane in the middle of the pack. I was talking so fast, I literally turned my head and forgot to move the microphone. Sorry about that. Number 14, 20, Lala Tiburona. There's 10 seconds left on the power jam, and Lala gets knocked to the inside. Gets up. Clock Waiting is for going the clock. To I was going to say, yeah, everything kind of yeah. slowed down there for a second. You know, those power jams are, are tough. That really was. Yeah, it's, when you said earlier there was a penalty less power jam, I was like, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, again, like I said, everybody's in there really going at it. Yeah, it looks like San Diego Wildfires picking up a failure to reform penalty during that last jam. They will be down one blocker, but we are back to having both jammers on the line. Correct. That was I believe that is Mimi Mahler doing the honors.
cheers for the AZDD hot shots. Hey, oh captain, your captain. I know, I'm trying to not be biased. <laughs> but that is my teammate. Yes. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mimi is out. Your San Diego jammer, number 213 with the leopard pants. Uh, Sugar Ray. Th 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 thank you. I already forgot. Sugar Ray coming in from behind. Now, here goes Mimi at the front of the pack. Weaving in, coasting in backwards. Coasting in backwards, knowing where the rail was and waiting for Sugar Rage to get on by. It looks like Arizona picked up two penalties during that last jam. It looked like a directional block and an above shoulder, so they'll be down a couple of blockers. Jamming for San Diego is Jax, your jammer for the Arizona Hot Shots, my boss. Volti, I was like, I think that's Volti. Oh, Volti managing to stay Volti on gets the out, low. right? Volti out and calls it off. There you go. That's Volti's first jam as a hot shot, and Volti is, in fact, my boss. So. On a, you, you think I'm allowed to say anything, but there actually are limits. Sandy and Volti will come over here and be like, don't say that. I'm like, okay, sorry. I just want to give a shout out to Volti. I've been so impressed with their ability to like take the low and manage to stay on the track. Yeah. I feel like that's something that I've really um, seen them develop over this last season or two, and they're yeah. just killing it. You've got Yatsiki Sauce and for San Diego. And that's Lightning for the AZDD Hot Shots. Lightning avoiding a hit there from 314 Kim Kong is your lead jammer for the hot shots. Coming back around for their first scoring pass. We had a star stash and coming out of the pack is Yatsiki, Yatsiki sauce. sauce. Number three by three, number nine. I don't know if we ever got an answer on them. I'm gonna go by with three by three. There we go, coming on in, Yatsiki Sauce. I was actually gonna think, what if it's an algebra problem? It's three X equals three, solve for X, then her number's one. So it just depends on how you perceive the equation on the back of her jersey. I have not had enough coffee for math right now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the guy that throws Latin into things at 8.30 in the morning, and I'm like, I'm sorry. I will leave the math to you, Clifton. Yeah, well, you shouldn't. <laughs> Volti is back out there again. Thigh voltage for Arizona. La La Tiburona is jamming in a regular jam for the first time ever. La La and Tiburona. Is, yeah, right to the front. And wow, gets the Arizona blockers kind of going and gets them out of play. La La is out for San Diego. La La Tiburona's ability to just absorb those hits yeah, from very out much so. were absolutely solid. Volti's going to get out, kind of duck in the head and gets out past Cherry. That wall of Arizona defenders is going to block up at the front. And they had Novocaine goaded for a while, and Novocaine just violently disposes of the goader, number 37 for San Diego. La La Tiburona decided to call off the jam as uh, Thigh Voltage was coming back around. And then with the pursuit. Yeah. Got Jamming for the hot shots. That's going to be Skid Vicious. We've got Sugar Rage on the jammer line. Both teams down one blocker. So a slightly smaller pack. Skid is now going to fight past that pivot and get out for Arizona. Sugar Rage struggling there against Mimi Mahler and Jaeger as Skid is coming around for their first scoring pass. Skid this time bumped down to the inside. Rogue Rammer. Yeah, Skid uh, and then Skid gets the, the best. There you go. I've been I've been touting Rogue Rammer the whole bout. Skid ducks around that hip and gets on by. So power versus power. 24 seconds left in the jam. Now Skid coming up on the second scoring pass. Does a beautiful transition on the low. Manages to get around, but is sent to the infield there by one of the San Diego blockers. Resets, but is out again. Sugar Rage given a hard time there by Mimi Mahler. Skid coming around to a slow moving pack, but the clock is going to expire. Absolutely. We'll wait to hear from the refs to see how many points uh, mm -hmm. Skid was able to pick up. It's interesting seeing, as I'd mentioned earlier, seeing skaters, you know, the Slammerai skaters like that, uh, Stiletto. And, uh, but interestingly, and this is kind of Arizona centric, but I was just about to say that you had mentioned skaters how getting better and getting better at certain skills, you know, perceivably so. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of, I was gonna say about Ash Smasham that I saw Ash skate in her first season and I was like, all right, cool. And then I saw her come back after the summer and I went, oh God, she got fast. Fast, <laughs> See? strong, yeah. stable, I just Yeah, terrifying. I was seeing she was yeah. strong already and then she yes. got fast. And it was like, it just was, 
it's fun to watch, you know, skaters that I've watched from rookies on through, like uh, like Thigh Voltage, Sandra Slay O'Connor, yeah. Shirley Temple of Doom, skaters like that, that have really become like really great leaders on the track and great at what they do. Yeah. San Diego takes lead jammer position with a star pass. I we believe have a that star was pass. 805. That's right. Petty Lascar doing the honors, able to cut right through past the jammer, struggling against uh, Cherry Kiss there and as Cherry the last Arizona trying walker. trying to weave by. Cherry's doing work at the front of the pack. Cherry is up there and just making it hard, and then Cherry's going to break free. Yeah, Skeletori is out, not lead jammer for the AZDD hot shots. So now back to the pack we go and trying to run around the outside. Yeah. That was a little sneaky star pass there. It looks like uh, the Hot Shots picked up an arms penalty during that last jam, so they will be down one blocker. Jamming for Arizona, that's number 172, Pikachu. You got 707, Lil Pity Bowl for San Diego. Fairly robust pack out there. I think San Diego's at a full complement. Arizona's down one. Yes. Both jammers coming up on the pack. Peak tries to take the high, is faced with some blockers, but manages to get out and is your lead jammer. Little Pity Bull struggling there against Ash Masham. Now Peak around the outside, it kind of grinds into the rail, gets bumped into the rail. Good defender knows that the rail is your second blocker. And now Ash catching up at the back of the pack. Pikachu sent to the infield there by, uh, I believe that was Rogue. Yeah, Rogue yep. Grammar. Rogue Grammar. I, I have to say, I have not everywhere. seen San Diego everywhere. skate in a while, but I'm becoming a very big fan I of was Rogue gonna, Grammar. I, I think every jam features two Rogue Grammars at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way they can be in that many places at once. Meanwhile, at the front of the pack, Jaeger's trying to hold back the San Diego Jammer, but does get pushed out of play. Pikachu was, was gamely trying to get along the inside and keep that front blocker in play, but went off track, and as soon as Pete did, they said, oh, or something. I think that's what, re I think, I think referees <laughs> just point and grunt, right? I'll have to check with Freya later. <laughs> I think that's a penalty, or he has indigestion. <laughs> 15 seconds to go until the end of the third quarter. That's Volti once again. And I believe that's La La Tiburona again yes. for San Diego. Mm -hmm. Hot Shots did pick up two penalties on that last jam, so they'll be down a couple of blockers. La La Tiburona out again. Volti's going to get out and put the put the hammer down. So now we got ourselves a jammer race. Till La La Tiburona is trying to get back to back. Volti really throwing those arms into it now and trying oh to catch up. Oh my goodness, Volti Lala La is going. The pack murders. is going to try to play keep away. The Arizona defenders are running at the front. Here comes La La catching up, and La La has to call it off. What a jammer race! Wow. The speed there that you both go. jammers had on that. Dang. That was fun. I did, yeah, I was going to say, some Puerto Rican guy behind me here just said, that looked like a USARS game, and yes, it did. <laughs> that was, woo, that was quick. That All took right. me back to, like, the 1920s original roller derby where they're right. just, it's a skating marathon. Yeah. That was so fast. All right.
We are back to the action. 192.53. Jam 41 getting started. 192.53. Sandra Slay O'Connor for Arizona. And that's Sugar Rage for the San Diego Wildfires. It is indeed. Sandy up to the high side. I should point out, because Sandy loves when I point this out, Sandy is also my boss, so Volte and Sandy, <laughs> both my bosses. And I just try to be a diligent employee and get the nice parking spot each month. Sandy down to the inside, getting pushed off to the inside, slowly moving back, grinding past the uh, camera back there for the Twitch feed, so I'm sure you're getting a good look at everybody's face. Jam clock about halfway yeah. expired here, a little beyond that. Both jammers still in. Both yeah. teams doing a great job playing defense. So we have uh, Lightning and Mimi at the front of the pack. Trying to fight through again. And finally the front blockers were out of play and they had to let they had to let oh look at how yeah, I was gonna say. He, you saw you saw if you were if you could see on the camera, uh, Sugar Rage turned into the front stretch and then just bent over hands on knees, just exhausted that after trying to get through yeah. Tough wall, Mimi tough and wall. Lightning. One there was about when they were in minors where Mimi skated as thunder so they could be thunder and lightning. I love it. I know. Meanwhile, that is Jax on the jammer line for San Diego and Cherry Kiss for Arizona. Both teams picking up penalties during that last jam, so a little bit of a lighter pack here. Jax, Pax, Smacks. Jax, Stash. Cherry Kiss is out for Arizona and is your lead jammer. Jax, Pax. Jax, Pax, Jax, Pax, Pass, Pax, Jax, Pass, Pax. <laughs> This is going to get through the pack for Arizona and get the pursuit. Jax, fast, Jax, fast, Jax. Cherry Kiss is going to go on the inside and get that jammer point. Cherry Kiss now, came on the inside. Jax tracks packs. Cherry Kiss up to the high side. Jax calls it off. Cherry Kiss does, I mean. 192.53, we'll check on that score. Seven points for Arizona, and Arizona is at 199. Scaring San Diego, sorry. Oh, I was going to say, San Diego did unfortunately pick up a penalty during that last jam um, on their jammer. jammer. Jax, right. So this will be a power, uh, <laughs> power, power jam. jam. Yes, yes, power jam. I was going to yes. say power play. My brain was in hockey mode for a minute. And I, um, a shout out to Johnny Pepper. This Arizona power jam brought to you by the Pepper Patch. And that is Jaeger doing the honors for the hot shots. Jaeger for the hot shots. The pepper patch is the penalty box. Johnny Pepper, beloved announcer at Roller Rage, christened our penalty box. Meanwhile, weaving through the pack, look at that. Able to just kind of duck through was Jaeger. Excellent move. See a blocker spilled on the ground there on the inside, and they're going to keep that blocker goaded. Jaeger coming around for another scoring pass is able to swoop low, get past that last San Diego blocker, and is going to try and come back for more points. A little under 10 seconds here left on the clock. Jaeger yeah. able to get past all of the San Diego blockers there. Jaeger just leaving them in their wake, going down the, I mean, really it was. They were just three blockers all yeah. tried and couldn't get there quick enough. So Jaeger gets through. We'll check on the score from the infield, and it was a 15-point jam for Scary Nager. Hot shots have broached 200. It is strange at the jammer line for the hot shots. And down there for San Diego, I believe that is Satsiki sauce. Yatsiki sauce. I want a Euro, apparently. Yatsiki <laughs> sauce around the outside, trying to just outrunning and trying to get to the point. That blocker's out of play, though. That and was Al sauce. delivering one final shoulder hit there to Yatsiki Sauce. Strange struggling behind number seven from San Diego. That's Slamurai, who we've seen consistently giving jammers a hard time. That's right. Yatsiki up into the pack, crashing to the ground. Look Ooh. out, a skater for Arizona went over the top of everybody. Al says, I'm good. Wowzers. That was quite the That's pile right. up there. Scara saying on the Twitch chat that uh, they just ate a falafel. <laughs> Close enough. Hopefully you didn't eat too many. You'd falafel afterwards. Skid Scara, Vicious is at the jammer line. <laughs> along with Lala Tiburona. Oh. 
And Lala comes down off the track. So it's going to be a power jam for Arizona. Skid Vicious is up at the jammer line for Arizona. Skid starts off trying to take the high, swoops low, and is out. Skid blasting through the pack and leaving a wake of tumble blockers behind her. The Hot Shots opting for the GOAT strategy, holding Slammerai there in the back, while the rest of the San Diego blockers form a wall in the front in preparation for Skid coming around. I, you know, judging by that hit, I'm gonna say that was uh, Rogue Rammer. And then Skid returns the favor. That blocker trying to get there, that was, uh, excuse me, Kim Kong trying to get to the blocker and Skid had the advantage there. Rogue also, Rammer just doing an excellent yeah, job there. Everywhere. I'm absolutely impressed. Rogue Rammer is not going to give Skid a, an easy time there, trying to deliver another shoulder hit. Six seconds left. Skid's coming around. One more time on the power jam. Slammerai still pinned at the back. <laughs> when you're Mimi Mahler, you can be a one-person goad wall. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw that happen. <laughs> They've just left Mimi back there to be the goad holder. <laughs> Hold this goad, okay. Meanwhile, just checking on that. 12 point power jam. Skid getting through, part of a scoring pass. We have 8.30 to go until the end of regulation. That's gonna be La La Tiburona once again for San Diego. And that's Skeletori for the hot shots. La La Tiburona takes the low is out, but struggling there against Cherry Kiss as the last blocker. Cherry Kiss is pushed out of play. La La Tiburona is your lead jammer yeah. for San Diego. Lala's had a lot of success as a jammer for San Diego. Like when, it, when somebody's been out enough lead jams for me to realize that they've been lead jammer almost every time. Yeah. But I would say that's why they park Lala out there for all the power jams. Probably and a reason for that. Lala calls it off after picking up your standard four. Like I said, wait until I see the fingers go out on the hand. Well, San Diego up to 61 points. Slightly under eight minutes to go in regulation. That's gonna be lightning for the hot shots and jamming for the San Diego is number 213, Sugar Rage. Lightning's gonna tiptoe right along the inside and then lightning, it was gonna be a jammer race and lightning ended it. So I think that was uh, Jaeger sending them. Was sending, it? I thought uh, yeah. I thought it was lightning clearing, and I it, regardless, I. Uh, it was excuse close. Me. No, it no, was no, very it was close, close. But yeah, and getting out there, by the way, <laughs> getting out there, Sugar Rage fighting through, but yeah, was nearly clear, and then somebody just rerouted Sugar Rage off onto the infield. Jaeger, uh, I think, threw a little bit of a shoulder there. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, it looks like, it looks like Sugar Rage picked up an arms penalty yep. during that last jam. So we're going to have a Hot Shots power jam. That's Cherry Kiss doing the That's honors. Right. San Diego reorganizing a little bit here as they switch out some blockers in preparation for this power jam. Cherry getting her customary head start from way back and just n refusing to go off the track. Road Rammer refusing to give up, and then Rogue Rammer is going to get pinned up behind the two Arizona blockers. So it's Slammerai and Rogue Rammer. We were just talking at the break with the San Diego camera person back here at the two of them being defensive wizards. Cherry Kiss fights through the pack. Your Arizona defenders, we got Thigh Voltage, we've got Al Annihilatia, Strange, and Remy Ruckus. That's a wall. That is a solid wall. Meanwhile trying to fight through, bouncing up and down. Cherry Kiss is trying to fight through, and once again, we've got defense back there on the back end of it. Once again, Rogue Rammer, and now they gotta get back up and reestablish behind Rogue Rammer again. Rogue Rammer drives Cherry up into the rail, and then they finally get somebody back there to keep Rogue Rammer off. Cherry is gonna get knocked off, but couldn't get back on to keep going, and San Diego recycles. Al now is gonna try to clear a path. There's one second left. And unsurprisingly, at the whistle, Rogue Rammer was trying to pursue Cherry Kiss. So, yeah. I know we're not supposed to be we're biased not, we're not as announcers, but I really, really want a Rogue Rammer jersey. Well, you had to think about it. I was going to say, you, you can be biased if you're complimenting somebody. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, as an announcer, you don't want to be biased like Tommy Heinsohn in Boston. That call was terrible. <laughs> These referees ought to be fired. 
<laughs> sorry. Yeah, Sandy, I'm sorry, boss. That was me doing a that was me doing a Tommy Heinzon impersonation. And Sandra Slay O'Connor just turned Sandy around. Sandy just fueled by the announcer shenanigans gets but out yeah, as lead that's, jammer. That is what being biased is. It is not biased to say that skater is absolutely kick and tail. <laughs> Sandy is actually out and clear and is gonna fight through. Wow! Oh, Sandy look at avoiding that. that hit. Sandy from avoiding that hit, and you know what? If the track monster gets you, if you stay on the track, then you have defeated the track monster. Yeah. So Sandy up and going. There's 27 seconds left. That's uh, Mimi Yeager and Ash Smasham there giving that San Diego jammer a little bit of a hard time as they have to reset in the back, allowing Sandy to make it out of the pack again, but only five seconds remain on the clock. Jax is getting run up to the high side. Sandy goes ahead and calls it off. It's always good to do such a loud, vociferous impression of a, of a niche announcer that hasn't announced in 25 years that your boss on the AV committee on the jammer line is distracted from the jam and turns around to, see, I told you they tell me to shut up. <laughs> I told you I have limits. You have seen it. <laughs> Sandy had the most confused You confused caught some look. of that glare. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it was a glare. I think it was just confusion as to like what the heck is going on in the announcer booth. Well, the, the, I don't know. My the, when Sandy looks at me, it's usually a glare. So I'm just assuming. I, I kid. Everybody knows I kid. It's fine. Uh, so they are talking down here. Official timeout. Yeah, no, I was going to say, I uh, I perceived it as a glare, and Cheryl's is telling me it was a confusion. I, I saw it as just And I said, well, I'm confusion. used to Sandy glaring at me, so. <laughs> and I said, of course I'm kidding, and Sandy knows it. And Sandy was like, why are right. you announcing hockey? Why, why in the world do you sound like Tommy Heinzone? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm impressed you know who Tommy Heinzone is. Cool. <laughs> I had no idea you enjoyed mid-'70s Boston Celtics basketball. Suki is saying in the chat, Clifton cannot be tame. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, I can. That look from Sandy shut me right up. You hear how I apologize. You kidding me? As, as the jam started, I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't fire me. Yeah, right. <laughs> please. Back please. to the derby action. Yeah, That's Skeletori jamming for the hot shot. It's a little pity bowl for San Diego. Pity bowl is going to just kind of move Remy out of the way. Meanwhile, there goes Tori jogging through the pack. Pity Bull around the outside. So Pity Bull's going to put the chase on. Here goes Tori. The crowd Tori knows, goes yeah, wild the crowd loves for it. Pity Bull's exit. So Tori's really got a now Pity Bull's gaining ground. Tori racing through the oh. inside, gets knocked off off the track, comes back on. The blocker came off as well. Kim so, Hong delivering quite the hit to Tori there. I was going to say, I'm watching, and I'm just an amateur, but I, I believe that was not a cut because the blocker came off, and then she slid back up on the track after the non-cut to call it off. <laughs> Pretty good. So it's two points for Arizona. We've got just about three minutes to go in regulation. La La Tiburona one more time for San Diego. And that's Lightning the Queen for the hot shots. Lightning managing to get around the San Diego pivot is out as your lead jammer. We are driving ahead at the front of the pack. That's a three wall of defenders at the front of the pack and the way they're holding uh, the pivot back, you are probably aware that there is a star pass at the moment. Star's in her hand too. Once like. again, that's 8.05 for San Diego taking over your jammer of record, Hedy Lascar. It's Headley. And Lightning coming around for another scoring pass here. Able to get around uh, all of the San Diego blockers as Hedy Lascar is struggling in the back there against Ash Masham and Mimi Mahler. A little bit of a pile up as Lightning is coming back around. Arizona playing some offense, trying to clear a path there for Lightning. Lightning manages to get around the last blocker with the hips there and decides to call it. Checking in on the score, that was eight, excuse me, 15. Mm -hmm. 15 for Arizona, my apologies. Uh, it'll be just about two minutes left when this jam starts. Cherry Kiss moving up to the jammer line. Yeah, I was gonna say, up there at the jammer line with Sugar Rage. Cherry Kiss playing a little bit of jammer defense there, sending Sugar Rage to the infield. 
bold I, move. Does not And there goes pay Sugar off. Rage. And Sugar Rage is getting lead out. jammer. San I, Diego just playing a strong D against Cherry Kiss there, sending her to the infield. Sugar Rage takes the high, is out for the first scoring pass. Dodges Volti and is able to get out on the low. Holding him up again. They got Cherry at the back of the pack as a de facto goat. And then Cherry Sugar just says, oh, look at Cherry. And Cherry jumps over somebody. Sugar Rage is out. Al gets knocked down. Cherry is out as well. And Cherry is now going to turn this into a jammer bout. I don't know. Give them pugil sticks and let them knock each other into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Coasting down the back straightaway, and Cherry is honestly just like, come on and do it then, and they give a high five, obviously. Solid work by Sugar Rage there. That's right. I was also thinking that Cherry Kiss and Sugar Rage sound like uh, martini names at a bar where they cost $22. <laughs> would you like another Sugar Rage? I'll have a Cherry Kiss this time. Okay. I imagine that the Sugar Rage drink would have like cotton candy on yeah, top. Yeah, exactly. Or nerds, something like that, yeah. you know? Yeah, oh, yep. Exactly. One. Sprinkling it. But the nerds dissolve. You have to eat them quick. <laughs> <laughs> Skid Vicious at the jammer line. There is 28 seconds left in regulation, and it is Yatsiki, Yatsiki sauce. Skid's going to get clear for Arizona. Yatsiki is at the back of the pack, running into that defense one more time. That's peak lightning, I believe. And Sandy holding back uh, Yatsiki there's sauce. There's a big collision at the front of the pack, and a whole lot of skaters just went down. Meanwhile, trying to fight through, gets knocked around, and the Arizona defense is able to recycle back around in front of the San Diego Jammer, fighting to get by along the inside. And watching the clock was Skid, and once the game clock expired, Kid, Skid called it off. So let's check on the occurrence of any penalty jams, it would appear. Fender B. Rodriguez calling everybody in. It's a five-point jam for the Hot Shots, and if that'll be the final score, I'll get it to you momentarily. I think I heard a penalty on white. Let's see. All right, there we go. I was going to say just start watching. And yeah, they did park somebody in the penalty box. So with that whistle, your final score, 267 to 71. Victorious are the Arizona Hot Shots. As usual, come on down track side, slap some hands, slap some hands. There we are. Anyway. So, I, uh, I was going to say anyway, just to look back. I, anyway, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's not a terrible. Here comes San Diego. What I was going to say, though, was that yeah, I, I feel like for San Diego, yeah, I watch a lot of hot shots bouts, but this is the first time I've, uh, upon a long time I've seen San Diego. I've got, uh, what do you think? I've got MVJ as La La Tiburona, and I've yeah. got uh, Rogrammer as MVB, and or it's slam. not even close. Or Slammerai yes, as well. Yes, Slammerai, yeah. But in solid work. Rogrammer may those. be MVP overall. Yeah, great, so, great work by really both teams Really good fun, good bout to watch. Great bout Great bout, a lot of fun. They're coming by and I'm letting them know. Make sure to stick around, friends. Up next, we're gonna have the LA Derby Dolls. Juniors. Juniors versus, versus the Minor Assaults. The Minor Assaults, and what's right. sure to be an excellent game. Another nail biter. I know, yeah. it's. And the minor assaults, if anybody's been watching, the minor assaults have been having really close bouts too. So yeah. I'm, I really am excited to see what they do again.